with tenanting 290 odd hectares of ground, running a dairy herd with small amount of arable and a lot of HLS. The herd is 190 cows yielding 97. We don't rear any heifers ourselves, we buy in uh, replacements purely from the continent. Decision made mainly on economic and uh, to a certain extent disease status, uh, enabling us to make sure that we have replacements from a non-TB affected area. Yeah, the heifers come over from Germany uh, in, uh, when they're three months pregnant. Uh, Germany is uh, a very high health status, so we're bringing over fairly naive animals. They're isolated in barns about 800 metres away from the main stead for six to eight weeks, where they go through a vaccination scheme for lepto, IBR, BVD. They also treat him for ectoparasites, but they actually don't meet the herd till two months off carbon. Other diseases or problems we're, we're, we're trying to control our antibiotic use uh, and we're looking at dry cow therapy. At the moment we blanket treat uh, the herd. We don't cell count test, but we're looking to start up cell count testing very shortly. With the vets, we have a, a good relationship with West Point. The uh, local one is only two miles away, so they're, they're easily to come out. The whole idea is they're part of the team which we use and they help us in making management decisions on what we want to do with the health of the herd. Uh, I'm proud of what we do. we do. We're very careful at paying attention to detail. Richard, who works with us, uh, and Josh, who works with us as well, we're all very clued up into exactly where we're spending money, what we're spending money on, and the returns we're getting from it.